Hi, my name is Jennifer Hope, and it's exciting and an honor to be able to share for a few minutes and to ask for your vote in support of our organization. I'm here to bring up a topic most people don't like to talk about, addiction or substance use disorder. Substance use disorder, just like heart disease, hypertension, or diabetes, is a chronic disease that carries a lifetime diagnosis. Substance use disorder does not discriminate and affects about one in 10 people in our country. The population of Allen County is just under 380,000, so that's about 38,000 people battling this disease right here. Each of those people, hopefully, have some sort of family or group of people who love them. Addiction is a family disease. Even though only one person in the house may use, the entire family is affected. If we add up family members, we are talking about tens of thousands, up to 100,000 or more, right here, who have been touched by a loved one's addiction. And do you know what? Most of them are suffering alone in silence, unsure of who they could possibly think of telling, and having no idea where to turn for support. When my oldest child was 16, he had his first experience with alcohol. His disease progressed quickly, and what followed were nearly seven years of active alcohol and drug addiction. During that time, I didn't know who I could talk to because I didn't want him to be judged. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want our younger children to be judged. So I suffered alone in silence. I know what it's like to spend countless nights awake wondering where your child is, if he's alive or if he has eaten, and to spend your days crying, wondering where you went wrong as a parent. I know the pain of telling your child he can't live at home, knowing he will be homeless. I know the gut-wrenching horror of seeing your child after he's been beaten up and pistol whipped. I know the paradoxical feelings of anticipation and hesitation of visiting your child in jail. I know what it's like to drop off your child at rehabs and sober living homes, each time hoping and praying it will be the one that sticks. I know what it's like to lose your joy. I know what it's like to be baffled at how addiction has taken over your loved one's brain and to want so desperately to be able to fix it. At the Mom of an Addict, we provide education and support to families who have been affected by a loved one's substance use disorder, whether or not the person is still using, is in recovery, is incarcerated, or has lost his or her life. We have a 20-lesson curriculum that utilizes an evidence-based practice and we offer a sharing time where families can come and say whatever. We all just get each other, and our meetings are open to everyone. We currently run one support group meeting here in Fort Wayne, but because there's a lack of family support options, because there are countless families feeling like I used to, and because we know that Tuesdays at 6.30 at the chapel doesn't work for everyone's schedule, we are starting more meeting locations so that we can reach and serve more families. To ensure a consistent message and to start new meetings more efficiently, we contracted with a company to film and produce our lessons. And as you can see, I'm live here on our set. New meetings will utilize the videos for the education component. New meeting locations will also need signage, facilitators guides, handouts, and other marketing materials. We've nearly raised what is needed to fund this project, and winning Fort Wayne Soup would get us to the goal. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. We do not charge anyone to attend a meeting, and we will also not charge groups or locations for the use of videos or materials. Addiction does not discriminate, and families need support. I'm humbly asking for your vote in support of our video project to help us reach families to remind them that they are not alone and that there is always hope. Thank you.